But clearly there is a way to do this. welded in place he fucking wants us to watch wait look regulator switch will that give them air no not both of them it's sucking out all the air whoever we point this lever at is gonna die what he, was he wants to choose doesn't he oh my god If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. Jamie, please. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please help me. We have to choose. Now. Uh. Can you just save Aaron in the suffocation chamber? No, 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 okay. Window. There's a, there's a leak. Back up, back up. Put some muscle in it, Mark. Put some muscle into it. We made it. We made it. Both of them are fine. Both of them are fine. Okay. We're not dead yet. Okay. We're all alive. We're all alive. Okay. Just a little, little oxygen okay? deprivation. Never hurt anybody. Never killed anybody. She's okay. I'm actually kind of curious what the. Whoops. Okay. So we're switching to Mark already. All right. What? What is happening? Your man is playing a game, and it's no fucking joke. You okay? Just leave me alone. <sighs> Look, we have to get smart about this before one of us ends up dead like Charlie. Wait. Charlie's dead? Then he got what was coming to him. What? What the hell does that mean? When I was lost, I picked up a recording. It was Charlie talking to Dumet. He said he wanted us dead. He brought us here to kill us. No. There's just no way. I know. Something doesn't add up there. Something really doesn't add up there. Met Grant and Dumet. Saw a girl in the window. Found a tape of Manny Sherman being interviewed by Agent Monday. Dumet didn't turn up for dinner. And they met wasn't the real Dumet. Hunter Monday's bad behavior. I'm curious how any of that would have changed. I mean, this at least, I can see how that would be different. In the newly unlocked room. Kill the bed. 
They made out. Found the text messages about her. Okay. They still heard. Got, still got two that have Forget his game. Unlocked, yeah. Traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective. I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to True. pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. He's listening to you no matter where you go. Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on the line. Maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. He's probably got it rigged with traps. Then we gotta be really fucking careful. It's our best shot. Are you shooting any of this? Formulate a plan to be at the lighthouse. No one is gonna believe it without proof. You want me to report him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops? Uh oh. Hear that? The walls are moving again. Okay, hang yeah. on. We need to stay close. Yeah, Shit. she's running okay. off like an idiot. Hang on. Don't wait behind. Yeah, this is why you need to stick close, idiots. Wait, no, no, no! Idiots. We need to stick together, immediately separate. Fuck. They're so dumb. They're so dumb. Kate deserves to die, and I don't feel bad about oh, killing her. Camera's gone. Oh, shit. Let's see if we can fudge that. <laughs> Let's see if we can, we can, uh, it's really hard to tell. I, I, it's just so, so quick. And I feel like that's going to be a significant thing that we didn't catch the camera you didn't catch the camera in this quick time event that you didn't expect and it just immediately goes away it's just immediately broken fuck you that's the worst part about these these games is that they're like oh you didn't you didn't do this one thing that you had no reason to expect to happen so now you have uh that and you know, you're gonna have a tougher time later All right, let's see where it loads us. If it'll do, if it'll be kind of, yep, immediately after the quick time event is where it saves. So fuck us, apparently. Just fuck, fuck me. So there's nothing I can look at it, but there's what am I looking at? And why? Okay. Fuck you, game. All right. More money. For weird ass dioramas. Alrighty. Anything back here? No.
Oh, I don't like the prison cells. Don't like the prison cells. Not even a little bit. Oh, definitely don't like that. Odorless paint thinner. Oh, hello. <laughs> no good without a camera. Yeah, no good without a camera at all. Thanks, game. Thanks. Appreciate it. I better be able to find another camera somewhere, because that is a real dick move that they pulled. I'm going to go back and see if I can do literally anything with this. Really? There's nothing I can do with this. All right, fine, whatever. Guess we have the flash, but all right, whatever. I supposed to do here then? Oh, I really don't want to be going in there. Thanks for giving me the hide hold prompt after I've already pressed Q, game. Well, I'm really annoyed with the game and it's unfair prompts already okay so i'm gonna i think this is where i'm going to end because this is pissing me off so we'll see where this is gonna drop us off but uh yeah i'm gonna return to main menu we're gonna buy some diorama stuff um we're gonna hope that we didn't just get mark killed by not being psychic about what the button prompts were going to be. Do, do, do. Collectibles. Oh no, we want bonus features still. I've definitely been missing some pictures, and I don't really know how. I feel like I've been pretty thorough. Murder was Morella. 
What's up, my people? It's Joe Morello here with another podcast talking about the beautiful thing that we like to call murder. Well, this is fascinating. As ever, I'm joined on the show by my wife. Hi, Michelle. Hello, Joe. Hello, listeners. What wicked delights do you have waiting for us on the coroner's slab today, Joe? I'm glad you asked that, Michelle, because we're going to go deep with this one as we talk about the shoe shine killer. A new killer on the block. <laughs> and we have a cameo appearance from your friend and mine, Manny Sherman, the beast of Arkansas. What a lineup. That's right. This is a case that's going to blow the listeners' minds because I believe, and I'm just putting it out there, that maybe, just maybe, local law enforcement got this one wrong. Sounds like a great show. You got it. But before we dig a little deeper and get to the juicy bits, I want to introduce a very important character in this story. FBI Special Agent Hector Monday. Hmm. Let's take everyone back to Wednesday, January 15th, 1997, when Chester Bell of the FBI reported how Hector Monday and his team had apprehended the beast. Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Now, I've got something here that's going to put a different slant on this case altogether. What is it? I've managed to get in my possession extracts from the interview sessions between Agent Monday and Manny Sherman. No way! How do you keep getting hold of stuff like this? That is quite I cool. have my sources, but I can't reveal them. Not even to you. These tapes are being played for the first time anywhere in the world outside the actual interview room. Are you ready? I think so. Take a tape. Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? Taking a survey, you try to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. That was disturbing. Did you hear the way Manny spoke? I mean, he was like channeling every sick cycle you've ever heard of. But he saved the best for last. None other than H.H. H. Holmes himself. America's first serial killer. The very same. Let's play the next tape. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just 
asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honey pot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space and papers alongside ads for the expo. Groups from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from Nebraska. It takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. That whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was gonna hear a thing. That's what I remember most, those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want. You'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. After capturing Manny Sherman, our man Monday was suddenly the hottest ticket in town. He couldn't go anywhere without someone wanting to throw a case his way. Everyone loves a winner. Let me lay this out for you. On September 3rd, 1997, the local PD found the mutilated body of an unidentified man in his early 50s behind an apartment block in the South Loop District of Chicago. Then, two weeks later, another body washes up on the East Pilsen River with the exact same modus operandi. Local law enforcement realized they were dealing with a serial killer. They needed help. So in the late fall of 1997, Agent Monday found himself in the Midwest heading up an investigation that would soon become synonymous with his name. Let's hear from Field Agent Danny Haywood on his first impressions of meeting with Agent Monday. I first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training, and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was taught. You hear that, Michelle? I actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago. Yep. That puts Monday in Chicago at the time of the original killings. Sure exactly. does. Exactly. Okay, dial back a few weeks to the summer of 1997. Agent Monday is in a tiny interrogation room in Birmingham, Arkansas, conducting his psychological investigation into Manny Sherman. But he's doing more than that. He's picking Manny's brains, learning from him, being challenged by him. Let's play tape number three. <laughs> a whole 
Carton this time. You trying to get on my good side or something? Yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'll save him. What, no questions? What's going on with you, Monday? Well, you seem different. Ah, <laughs> I see that glimmer in your eye, you little devil. I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. You know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got homes for 27. But we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish I'd had the time to try and beat that. Sure, they know about those nice realtor ladies. They got families, after all. But the numbers the DA is asking me about, I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. Does anyone notice if they go missing? My father always told me to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watched that first girl bleed out. Oh. I call it art. That's my signature on society. It's not murder. It's an aesthetic response to what this I world regret watching has this made now. <laughs> um, this is very long. This is way longer than I was And they'll drop it to five, ten on you before they can think of any more. Ask them to name the detectives that caught those Yeah, I killers. think Monday is, in fact, our no one is murder house detective. But where is he getting all the money thing. from? Where has he no gotten all knows. this money from? No one cares. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on T-shirts. No one gives a shit. I've left my mark on the world. Have you? Holy shit! I did not see that coming. I told you this stuff was good. Where did you get this material? Sorry, I gotta protect my sources. But, Michelle, I've got more evidence you haven't heard before. My source has given me autopsy notes from the coroner as she examined the second murder victim. John Doe, number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. <coughs> Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. That would have created a lot of noise and mess. This guy is learning. Yeah, that's a little fucked up. All right, let's buy our dioramas. Dioramas. Dio. Rama. get these out of the way I think our our poor doomed honeymooners and we'll get homes and Ugh. there's actually quite a few left All right, cool. 
right, Mr. Curator. Is Jesse Buckley? Is he in the murder castle? Silver framed secrets. Clean the scene director's suite. Clean the scene reunion. The buttons don't always work for this, which is really something. Really something. We'll go look at the anthology here, because we, we've we already played most of these. Done a Little Hope. House of Ashes, which is great. The Devil and Me, and then... I don't know. All righty. I'm going to go ahead and end. Um, but thank you all for being here. Um, let me see what we got in terms of somebody to raid. Because we do like to do ourselves a little raid. Um, do, 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 do. If there's anybody online, which there may not be anybody really to raid. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we're going to raid uh, Mr. Aura here. So go say hi to Aura. I'm terrible at fucking doing the fighters. Um, he is doing some sort of puzzle game with Albi and Mahans and... Robin. So, say hello to them. Wish them luck. Okay, um, one dead. And I'll see y'all later. Bye 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 bye. I think they're just gonna keep spawning in. Yes, yes they are. Hmm. It's weird.